hello guys and welcome to make easy and today i'll show you about git log so git log is generally is like an study of your commit of it may be in different branches or it may be different users it's depending upon the project so it will show you all the commits that whatever you made so let's say for any example that i have this project so i'm going to see now the history of this project so git log so the git log will the pretty much it will display the commit hash and as well as the author so author in the sense we have all the committed and as well as the date so date and the commit message so the four things will it will display so the commit hash and author author the person who who committed and date when he committed and the commit message so and also you can also visit the documentation of the git you can find the couple of couple of ways to see the uh, the list the history so i will explain you few things that i am mostly using git log so i find 20 so means i need last 20 commits I don't want to see the whole list of commits. So now I can see only the last 20 commits itself. That's it. I am so and also a few times I want to see the the changes between the commits. Like first uh, between the commits, I want to see the changes in the files. What the files? You know, I can maybe changes in so different files. But I want to know the what the changes made in the files. I use the command called git log iphone p so it will tell you the changes also not only uh, the messages and author and date to give the file names and their paths and the paths and the changes so if you see if you take an example of this one so I made a changes on the SQL start program line and before it was there like this and have made changes like like this so the green color was the new change that I made and instead of this a red color change so red color thing so you can see the and also you can see that another file that I made changes and so the list is going on like this so like this you can view the history of your file changes also not only the commit messages and not only and you can also visit the documentation of the git to explore something more and use the number and start date end it between two dates that you can select and so maximum count number of commits to output so if you want to skip so you can also use after two days I go something like so I think so the git log two days dot I go now I have to use I have to use after so there is no commit there is no commit two days dot I go so let's see for one week ago I mean any changes on this yeah, but we can go I made few changes. Right? So you can see commit messages and join some thanks for watching and if you like the video please subscribe to make easy.